Hello everybody and welcome back to Behind the Shots. I'm Pete Knight, I'm a wildlife photographer and in this series I go through some of my favourite wildlife photographs. So let's crack into it. This is today's photo. This is a beautiful northern royal albatross taken in Dunedin, New Zealand uh, with monarch wildlife. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that I've got a lot of these photographs from Monarch Wildlife. Uh, it's a wildlife cruise boat that I worked on for a while when I was living in Dunedin. This photograph, this exact one, was actually taken on a day where I wasn't working. So um, my partner had just moved to Dunedin and uh, we were going around looking at all this cool wild stuff and we went out with Monarch as often as possible. Uh, with, with short cruises like this, it's really easy. It doesn't take a whole day away from you. You can just do it as a little activity in your day. And the more often that you go out, the more chances you have of seeing something cool or, or seeing something different or seeing rare stuff. So uh, we went out as often as possible. And on one day we just decided, hey, let's, let's do it. Let's go hop on that Monarch. Let's go for a ride. And it was a pretty windy day. Now, oftentimes when there's wind, a lot of boat, uh, a lot, lot of boat people I uh, don't like it because the wind can make it a whole lot rougher out there. Uh, and it does that in Dunedin too. But the other thing it does in Dunedin is it makes the albatross just go crazy. So the Northern Royal Albatross breeding colony is up on a hill right on the coast here. So the boat's driving around there. If it is a really calm day with no wind, then the albatross struggle to get to the top of the hill, to the sea, or from the sea to the top of the hill. Uh, they really need wind to help themselves fly. They're such a large and heavy bird, they need the assistance from the wind. So when it is a really nice and windy day, first of all, it's super easy for them to come uh, from the sea up to the top of the hill, leave from the top of the hill to go out to sea, but then also, they just they, they just go crazy. So there's a lot of adolescents that show up uh, at this, this colony in certain times of the year and when these big winds come through that's when they can that's when they can do a lot of their sort of courtship behavior they're looking for a mate they can fly around in circles around the hill trying to show off they can do these same sort of behaviors on the sea where they're flying around all having a lot of fun showing off to everyone that's exactly what they were doing today so there were a whole bunch of juveniles playing in the wind going from the sea to the hill from the hill to the sea flying all around going absolutely crazy now this one just happened to pass by on the port hand side of the boat, perfectly lit by the sun. And now in the background, uh, if you're not from Dunedin, this probably doesn't really mean too much to you, but you'll see this big pole here, uh, black, yellow, black. Uh, that is on the tip of a structure called the Aramoana Mole. So from the village of Aramoana, it's a big man-made rock wall that extends out into the ocean. Um, uh, it was built for, for certain reasons with that uh, to restrict uh, sediment coming into the harbour and whatnot. But it's um it, it's it's a landmark in the area. Uh, you drive up to Adamawana, you can walk out on it. You can see seals, you can see sea lions, you can see penguins. I do a lot of scuba diving off that um, off that mole when I'm living in Dunedin. So it's just a bit of a landmark. So I really like about this picture was being able to manage to capture such a beautiful bird awesome awesome bird the main focus of the monarch wildlife cruises tours with such a cool landmark of the exact area in the background and uh with those layers as well so we've got that we don't have any foreground elements i still like the photo I, you know, I don't need foreground elements we've got the beautiful bird there then you've got that background uh with that landmark and then you've got a layer behind that you've got the cliffs off in the distance and a layer behind that the hills off even further off in the distance in the clouds and I just think the lighting was really, 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 really lucky, really, really lucky to get such beautiful lighting on this photograph. Now, the team at Monarch liked it as well. You'll actually see this photograph um, on the on their brochures, on the Monarch Wildlife Cruises brochures. So if you're ever in Dunedin and you see uh, one of their brochures, yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. Now, now on to the specs. So shutter speed, 1 3200th, my favorite shutter speed. Um, f5.6 was the aperture. Now when this lens is zoomed in fully to 400 meters, f5.6 is the lowest aperture you can have. So um, uh, f4.5 when it's at 100, f5.6 when it's at 400. So that was the lowest aperture I could have. To make up for that sh fast shutter speed and because I couldn't co compensate by opening the aperture up, my ISO raised up to 500 just because of the exact light that was available on this day. 
And yeah, I chose 400 millimeters uh, as my focal length just because he was far away. Sometimes things are far away. You need to get them closer. You need to get a, a picture of it closer, please. But that's the photograph. If you like the photograph, it is available for purchase. That is wildboypete.pickfair.com uh, for commercial purposes, marketing purposes, for fun, for digital download, uh, to send to your Nana to hang on her fridge. Uh, it's available on that website and there will be a link in the description. If you can think of a nice name for me to give this photograph, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I will finally name this photo. And uh, if you like the video, uh, like, subscribe, check out my other stuff and s send it through to uh, all your wildlife, uh, wildlife minded friends out there in the community. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.